final press press the plancha to brew your coffee and tea anywhere let's see what it looks like just a little for sure hot and cold brewing with final press that's a lid some sort of a spring two springs i show you here how to do it oh look at that final press That's what it looks like. That's the sieve. And that goes on top of it. So. There's a silicone ring. Let me show you hot and cold brewing with final press. First, put two to three teaspoons of coffee or tea recommended grind size medium to fine okay number two screw the filter onto the plancha number three slowly add hot water into the cup check below for four Stir it around 15 times. Lower parts are hot, so hold from the top yellow piece. 5. Leave for a minute. Now stir around 30 times and let it brew for another minute. 6. Press the plancher gently for a few times to maximize the release of rich flavor. Let me show you for cold brew. Add room temperature water into a mason jar. Stir final press around 30 seconds to moisten the grounds and screw our lid on the jar. Store it in the refrigerator for 12 to 24 hours. To cold brew, after that stir and press the plancher as needed. We take two to three teaspoons for this. Oh, this that smell good. Now screw the filter onto the plancher. There you see, there we got that. It says slowly add hot water into the cup. Now we stir it around 15 times. Hold it on the top yellow piece. Two, three, one minute later. Now stir it around 30 times. One, two, three, 27, 20. 27, 28, 29, 30, then brew another minute. Gently press the plancher a few times to maximize the release of rich flavor.
is that good? Made with the final press.